in the name of allah the most gracious most merciful hello everyone this is dr tariq masood thank you very much for watching my videos and your exceptional support to make this channel a grand success we are a partner please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert a challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories these success stories can be monetized into value addition thank you very much for your precious time okay today i'm going to discuss my lecture number five six sigma lean management model define measure analyze improve and control mechanism before my lecture i used to read a quranic verse rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa halal uqdatam min lisani yaqfu qawli rabbi zidni ilma okay now i'm going to run a complete a trail on my lecture number 5th okay six is my lean thinking visual management define a major analyze improve implement and control mechanisms okay on my earlier lecture as i mentioned earlier we have discussed uh, three four main elements so the first we have discussed uh, six sigma methods we have also discussed uh, uh, six sigma principles what is the difference between lean and dmac define measure analyze improve control mechanisms what is the lean history then we discussed the history of six sigma six sigma strategy conventional strategy and six sigma strategy what are the six sigma criticals problem solving strategy of six sigma voice of customer we have also discussed introduction to dmac what are the different opportunities major performance analyze opportunities today we are going to discuss lecture number 5 so on my next slide i'm going to run a complete a trail or my key take away points what i'm going to discuss today in lecture number 5 please explore more from lecture number 1 to lecture number 4 what we have discussed last couple of weeks how the six sigma lean management can improve our business key take away points lecture number 5 okay today uh, what we are going to discuss in lecture number 5 here first we will recap define opportunities major performance and analyze opportunity that is the first year and uh, today we will discuss two important topics improve performance and control mechanism these two topic we will discuss today in detail okay the mac process improvement road map what is basically the mac so in the uh, mac here define measure analyze improvement and control mechanism and a process improvement a road map what in road map we are going to discuss a uh, first define then a measure performance analyze opportunities improve performance and control performance mechanism okay first we need to define the opportunities and what is important when you define the opportunities for the improvement process then second how to measure business performance and how are we doing number second number 3 analyze opportunity and what are the findings what is wrong with business why the business is not delivering as planned or as desired number 4 improve a performance what needs to be done mean what are the finding and what are the recommendation against the finding in order to improve the system performance or business performance number 4 control performance mechanisms how do we guarantee performance sustainability that is important 
first define my year performance how are we doing analyze what is wrong and what are the findings in order to improve and recommendations against the finding improvement performance and last control performance control mechanism for the system sustainability to stay at the certain level okay on my next slide we are going to give a recap define opportunities measure performance analyze opportunities and then we will discuss in detail improve performance and control mechanism okay recap define measure analyze okay in a recap first uh, we are going to discuss define to identify and or validate the improvement opportunities develop the business processes define critical customer requirements ccr and prepare themselves to be an effective projective that is first attempt second a main activities validate identify business opportunities validate develop a team charter identify and map process identify quick win and refine process translate voice of customers into critical customer requirement develop team guidelines and ground rules that is second attempt that is we have as discussed okay then what are the key deliverables so you can find a potential tools and techniques in my lecture number one two and three four as well so then a team charters action plan a process maps quick win opportunities critical customer requirement uh, prepare a team charters a team okay so we have discussed first and second major performance here then identify critical major that are necessary to evaluate the success meeting a critical customer requirement and begin developing a methodology to effective collect data to measure process performance to understand the elements of the six sigma calculation and establish a baseline sigma for the process the team to analyze and then are uh, what are the main activities identify input process and output indicators develop operational definition measurement plan plot and analyze data determine if a special cause exists determine sigma performance collect others baseline and performance data okay again potential tools and technique you can visit lecture number four so input a process need uh, output process operation definition data collection plan baseline performance productive team atmosphere that is a key deliverables then next is analyze opportunities so what are the opportunity to analyze to stratify and analyze opportunity to identify a specific problem and define an easily understand problem statement first then to identify and validate the root causes that assure the elimination of frail root causes and thus the problem the team is focused on to determinations are true source of variations potential failures more sadly to customers dissatisfaction that is analyzed stratify process stratify data identification specific problem develop problem statement identify root causes design root causes verification analysis valid root cause comparative analysis source of variations failures modes effects analysis regression analysis process control process capability design of experiments then uh, key deliverables here so data analysis valid root cause source of the variation fema failure mode and effect analysis problem statement and potential solution that is we have discussed into analyze opportunities so on my next slide we are going to discuss improvement process and control mechanism of the business need okay now we are going to discuss uh, business performance improvement okay earlier slide we have uh, discussed uh, define the opportunity for business improvement and then measure a uh, business uh, what are the findings then analyze a business what are the recommendations can be implemented against the finding then now we are going to discuss today uh, improvement performance first we'll discuss the objective to identify evaluate and select the right improvement solution to develop a change management approach to assess the organization in adopting 
to the change introduced through solution implementation that is first and second attempt as far the objectives are concerned. What are the main activities? The first response are surface methods, generate solutions ideas, determine solutions impact benefits, evaluate and select solutions, develop process maps and high level plan, develop and present storyboard communication solu st solutions to all stakeholders. Okay, potential tools and techniques first here. First, a solution impact of Six Sigma time, cost, benefits, other impact, and total ranking where we are as far as the Six Sigma is concerned. Then, cost benefit we can determine what are the cost and benefit for the first year, what we improved as far as the improvement is concerned. Then we'll discuss a force field analysis, force working for ideas and force working against the ideas. And then we'll also present in, in gun charts, plot how how the, the, the system can perform A, B, C, D tasks and uh, the responsibility gems, loans and bill etc. In Jan, Feb, March, April, May, how the system is performing, what are the role and responsibility they have performed as it defined. Then uh, uh, we'll describe uh, the the process flow, business process flow, the start point from A category up to completions. So what are the start point and uh, what where we are for the deci decisions making. If no, it will go back and for further evaluation if yes and it will go to the next stage and then evaluate for implementation. That is workflow in the improvement process. Key deliverables here are solutions, process maps and documentations, implementation milestones, improvement impacts and benefits, storyboard and change maps. That is improved performance. Now, uh, control performance. We have uh, discussed uh, improvement performance. Now we are going to discuss uh, control performance here. So what are the control performance? Uh, first objectives to understand the importance of the planning and executing engage the plan and determine the approach to be taken to assure achievements of the target results to understand how to disseminate lesson learned identify applications and standardization opportunities process and develop related plans that is objective as for the control business control performance is concerned so main activities here develop a uh, Pilot plan and pilot solutions, verify reduction in root cause sigma improvement resulted from the solutions, identify if additional solutions are necessary to achieve goal, identify and develop replication and standardization opportunities, integrate and manage solution in daily work process, integrate lesson learned, identify team next step and plan for remaining opportunities. Okay, potential tools and techniques. So, as we mentioned earlier, to identify the gap first here, and what are the CCR customer critical requirement. Then, if you can see the first, identify the critical requirement here, the gap, and after implementation, you can see the CCR is reduced drastically. Then, uh, project a plan, work plan, and after implementation, you can see before the implementation. There's a huge variations and out of range after implementation you can see the process variable within the control limit. Okay, error modes and effect analysis can be implemented. Error modes effect analysis EMA. So process steps, error, cause and effect, degree of effect, it can be included frequency, severity, detections and total. And then occurrence prevention, so countermeasures, how to do it and that is error mode and effect analysis. Then process control system standards and procedures first here training team evaluation change implementation plan potential problem analysis plot and solution search success stories trained associates replication opportunities standardization opportunities that is the last attempt on control performance. So my next slide uh, will uh, give a conclusion and then in my next lecture, we will discuss a defined opportunity and its framework. Thank you very much for your patience time.
conclusion today we have discussed improvement business performance first then a control of business performance first how to improve and then how to control in order to deliver sustainability okay my next topic would be opportunity framework and case study okay thank you very much for your precious time please send me your comments and feedback please stay at home stay safe inspired and blessed thank you very much for your precious time